सत्संग सांगे विद बुके I request Mr. Thakchu Singh to please honor Home Secretary Shri Sonam Tapgel with bouquet. Welcome song. Begin. Stand it, tis. Yeah, lock your arms at the back. Atin chin. Stand it, tis. Atin chin. Tibetan community song. Begin. principal, other distinguished guests, learned colleagues of CST and SFF, and my very dear students. Good evening. Tashi Dele. Namaskar.
today, it's really a matter of immense pleasure to find amidst us Dr. Lobsang Sange, political leader come education minister, who is a visionary and pillar of strength for Tibetan community. He is a legal scholar and political activist. He was elected as next Sikyong on 26 April 2011. We are proud to know that he completed his schooling from CST Sonada and Darjeeling. So dear children, his auspicious presence has made this evening very special. So let us express our happiness by a special clap. One, two. We also have with us Shri Sonam Topgel, Home Secretary, who is equally committed and works for the upliftment of Tibetan community. His gracious presence has also enlivened us beyond measures. So, without a further ado, I request Honorable Principal Sir to please come and give his welcome address. Sir, please. It's my privilege and honor to welcome Dr. Lopsang Sange, our Honorable Chief Guest, Sikya CTA Dharamsala, our special guest, Sonam Toggyal, Secretary Home, CTA Dharamsala, dignitaries, settlement officers, and media person. I, on behalf of CST Harbutpur, welcome all of you. Our school has completed 19 years of journey for providing quality education and preserving the Tibetan culture and heritage. We believe in the development of holistic development of a child to make them their career successful and to make a good human being. We believe all this quality is necessary to make them a successful person. Overall, our CST Harbutpur is a unique character among all the CTSA school. This school runs under CTSA Delhi and the hostel runs under Special Frontier Forces. This is the one and the only school among all the cities school which shows a mutual understanding and a beautiful cooperation between the two authorities. I again, from core of my heart, welcome Dr. Lopsang Sangi. I don't need to give his introduction as I'm also privileged that he is my senior in Delhi University and Home Secretary Sonam Togel and other dignitaries who spare their valuable time to bless our student. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I request Dr. Lopsang Sange, Sikyong, Tibetan government in exile, to please share his blessings on all, each one of us. Sir, please. So I'm really excited to be here at CST Habapur with uh, Pritam Singh Ji as your principal and the uh, teachers and staff members here. And with me, we have Home Secretary Sonatopgila and local uh, representative Tashila and also our representative of the Department of Home, Nimala, and uh, some staff members from Dharamsala are also here. So for us, it's uh, an exciting to be here, actually. This morning I was at Lingzang Settlement. Do you know where Lingzang Settlement is? No? 
Then I went to, actually, we just drove from uh, uh, TCB Seliku. Do you know where the school is? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Good. Now I'm here. So this is my third or fourth speech of the day. <laughs> then I'm uh, a bit tired also. But seeing your cheerful faces, a colorful dresses, the blue, the green, the red, and the yellow. Which are the, what are the names of your houses? Blue is? Nyetri? Green is? Red is? Yellow is? I think Nyetri is the loudest actually. I think Nyetri has more energy. Yes? Good. And CSD Habapur, as uh, Principal Pitam Singh Ji said, has contributed a great deal to the Tibetan community and the world at large. I have several friends. Actually, if you go by the percentage or the ratio, Tibetan Parliament has more members in the Tibetan Parliament from CSD Habapur than any other schools. There are four of them. So I think CSD Habapur is expected quite a bit more than its present contribution. You are expected to take your performance both in scholastic and non-scholastic, better than what you have now. Yes? Do you know this year's uh, class 12 results? Yes or no? Yes. So how did you do? See, is, do you have class 12 here? Yeah. Arts and science, no? What percentage, what was the highest percent? 87 by science student. 84 by arts. Really good. This year, last year there were four students in CSTs and TCVs and you know, uh, Tibetan Home Foundation schools who got 90% for. This year, how many? Yes. Yeah? How many? Five. See, from four to 13, 90 plus percent. That's an increase of what percentage? 200 plus percent. Yes or no? That's remarkable. Last year, there were 242 students who scored 70% in science and 75% in arts and commerce. This year, how many students? 345. That means 103 more students scored more than 70 and 75% this year. Is that good? That's an increase of almost 40% in one year. Students from Tibetan schools made great progress. Now, of all these things, one student made history. Do you know her? No? Yes, sir. The yellow shirt. What's her name? Yeah? Tenzing Chuki. Yes. What did she do? In the history of Tibetan schools, no one scored more than 95% in the last 50 plus years. But Tindji Chuki from Tibetan Homes Foundation in Masuri scored 95.4%. She made history. Yes or no? Yes, Are you committed to do it? A little louder. Yes, sir. That's good. 
So this year I'm very proud that the uh, many uh, students in Tibetan schools perform far better than last year. Actually, Tin Shuki told me, I said, how come you, you scored 95.4%? She said that when her teacher in school announced the Department of Education scholarship, did you all get some green book? Scholarship green book, did you all get? Yes or no? So when that announcement was made, that there will be one lakh rupees for anyone who scores 95%. Her classmates told her, oh, it's not possible. No one has done it. We will not be able to do it. As we say in Tibetan, shego nangi momore, you know? Momo in the glass box. You can see it, but cannot eat it. But then, she went to her father, father said, no, if you study hard, you can score 95%. So she followed the advice of her father and studied very hard. See, if you study hard, is it possible or not? Yes or no? Yes, Good, that's the spirit. So point I'm trying to make is if you work hard, and you have to work hard in life, there is no shortcut. So you have to work very hard. If you work hard, it's possible. But if you think that somehow you can get by and you'll get there. But also, most important thing is this. It starts with what's in your head, what's in your mind. Let me tell you something, okay? You repeat after me. Be aware of what you think. You might say it. Be aware of what you say. You might do it. Be aware of what you do. It might become your habit. Be aware of your habit. It might become your character. Be aware of your character. It might become your destiny. See, your destiny starts here. If you think you cannot do it, you will say, I cannot do it. Once you say, I cannot do it, your hand will not start moving. Then it becomes habit. Whenever there's challenges, you say, no, 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 I can't do it, I can't do it. You have to study, no, 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 I can't study. It becomes a habit, character, then your life. So you have to always believe that you can do it. If you believe you can do it, then you can. When you study, if you study with calm mind and think you will learn the chapter, you will learn the chapter. If you think you will not be able to learn the chapter, you will not be able to learn the chapter. If you think, I will remember the question and answer, you will remember. If you think, I will not be able to remember this answer, you will not be able to remember. Understood? Yes, Where does it start? Hmm? Say a little louder. So you got your head straight? You got your mind straight or not now? So you all are going to score 95%? Yes, sir. Does your mind say that? Yes, sir. Okay, good. You are on camera now. All your faces are on camera. Next time when I come, I'll check you whether you have scored 95% or not. Yes or no? Yes, sir. And also I would like to take this opportunity and uh, you know, uh, applaud and appreciate the hard work and dedication of the teachers who have made the success of this school possible, who have also made my life also in many ways enriched and satisfying. I have had many teachers, Indian as well as Tibetan teachers, who work very hard to teach me Hindi, English, all the things that I know. 
during my formidable years, the teachers were the main contributing forces. So I'm very grateful to all the Indian teachers and all the Indian staff members, all the Tibetan staff and teachers. And also, teachers are expected to be an example to students and to teach well to students. So there's a saying, mediocre teacher reads. If you are a mediocre teacher, when you come to the class, you open the book, you read it to the students. That's all the mediocre teacher does. If you are a good teacher, good teacher explains. They open the chapter and start explaining to students. If you are a superior teacher, superior teacher demonstrates. So not only they explain, but they will demonstrate you with using tools to make you understand better and stay in your mind better. And the superior teacher, what do they do? Superior teacher inspires. Hence, our teachers are expected to be inspiring. Not only they explain, they demonstrate, then they inspire. So, the dedicated teachers we have here, I'm sure they are working very hard to educate you all, to make you all very successful, especially to Tibetan students. Not only you have to have a successful career, you have to be a contributing factor in the Tibetan cause and in the Tibetan movement. Hence, you have special and additional responsibilities than a normal student in a career. For that, teachers are also expected to contribute additional efforts to make Tibetan, Tibetan students far more committed, not just in life, but for a greater cause. So with that, I want to end my short speech. Short or long? Long. long? Was it too long for you? <laughs> so looking forward to committed CST of Habapur, confident students of CST of Habapur, doing very well this year and next year and you'll come to Dharamsala to accept the prize of one lakh rupees or more. With that note, I want to thank all of you for giving me this opportunity to share some thoughts and if you like it, keep it. If you don't like it, discard it. With that, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. So I'm expecting some questions from my house. Huh? Nyatri house, are you ready with the questions? What happened to your voice now? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Songzim? Yes, sir. Chisong? Yes, sir. Chiril? Yes, sir. But they're looking other ways. They're saying, yes, sir. <laughs> they have to look at me and say, yes, sir. Yes or no? So Chiril? They have to look at me, no one look at me. Yes, yes or no? Good. So, ask me questions and I'll answer to the best of my capacity. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your benign presence and valuable words are energizing. I can feel an additional glow on the faces of all the students. We are inspired by your lifestyle, by your innovative thinking, and by your principle, I am possible. Together we should say, yes, we can. Say, yes, yes we, we can. can. OK, and then give a special clap for this motivating words. One, two. Now we 
are going to start questionnaire session. So you all are invited with your questions, with your queries. อะไรดีสิอะไรเงี้ยกูสุชิริเลกูเนลบดักฮาดินเดกีกินซินดาอ่าคัมเมนนังเชเพอปูกูอะไรลบดักซูยากีชาชิจูดิสกูเรเวอ
ตันเดเปลอบจิงยอซอบะเนเอ่อลอบดาคาซูจีแลนดิกามิโดดดอชิมเบเรยาอุชุนทอนเนทุตาจุยซาบะเรเตเนเปลอบจิงยอซอบะ